Hey everybody, what's up? It's your buddy Keith, and I'm here with James, my business partner here at Essex Recording Studios. We're live in the control room, and we're going to talk about a cool piece of outboard gear today. Right, James? Yep, yep. And it's hiding down here in the rack. It is the 1961 Federal, Avia <laughs> Federal Aviation Agency Type FA-5238 compressor. Now, this is made by Tritronics Labs, and uh, we actually got this from Dan Hawkins of the Darkness out of his studio, his personal studio. We've been putting this through, uh, I think you, you were saying uh, Michael Brower is one of the big users of this. Yeah. He uses it on vocals, and well, uh, I'll hand the, the mic over to you, James. Let's, uh, let's hear about it. What can you tell us about this unit? Okay, well, first of all, um, yeah, as uh, Keith said, it's, uh, the first time I saw this was the... Uh, um, on the Mix with the Masters uh, uh, series uh, online where Michael Brow uses this, he calls it the Federal, um, as one of his compressors that uses parallel compression on the vocals. Um, you hear about him talk about it a lot, uh, it's on his website. Anyway, so we get it, and so the first thing I do is uh, use it on the vocals. Uh, so I've finished up doing a mix for uh, an artist called Aaron Buchanan and the Cult Classics, and this was in my signal chain. So. What do I like about it? Well, from my research, it's a, it's a very new com compressor. Um, it's very smooth. Um, what's kind of nice is, is there's just this one big fat knob on the front. So It's all stepped, right? Yeah, it's all stepped. It, you can tell that there was uh, the engineering behind this had to be precise. Um, I, I don't know if my, what sort of recalls had to do back in the day, but as you can see, I mean, it's just fun to... Oh, yeah. But... All Bakelite uh, VU... Uh, yeah. meter housings and whatnot the knobs kind of are a all... killer jewel there that's, that's pretty jewel. that's pretty cool for like sure that. um and obviously it's got the mic input so obviously uh, maybe i don't know uh, some air traffic controller might have used it but... it looks seriously heavy duty i mean it looks military it's got the olive drab kind of green yeah um, and what's kind of interesting is is you think that it's gonna give you maybe sort of an aggressive sound and what have you but i find that it's uh it's super super smooth um it gives a nice silky top end to it. Um, I never, I haven't brought it much past, uh, say, 34 on the uh, attenuation. And what's kind of nice is on this is um, as the uh, the signal goes down, it automatically gives you the uh, output, uh, you know, equal to what's uh, going into it. Uh, another cool little thing is it opens up. Oh, that's where you hide your drugs when the cops are in the studio. Yeah, they'll never find that. <laughs> All right. Um, and there we've got the, the little stamp. All these units have the stamp in here. So this is dated March 8th, 1961. And, I mean, this thing looks like a time machine back uh, about 60 years ago. It's kind of crazy, man. Um, the wiring is also super heavy duty. I mean, super thick shielding. Everything's extremely well labeled. Lots of space between everything. Uh, I'm really impressed. You don't really see stuff built like this these days. No, and I think if uh, if we wanted to, we could mod it because it's you know uh, quite basic wiring, and I don't think we will mod it, mind you. But you yeah, I've heard I've heard about a few different mods that yeah. that people do to it. I think Michael Brower talks about uh, yeah. on his website. There's one guy that does a. A standard mod for it and he has a link to it there oh, okay. in his uh maybe, faq maybe like a an attack and a release time because it's all it's all fixed gotcha so uh um but yeah i love it i'm going into this uh, and then out of that into uh, one of the warm 1176s down here okay um i think it's great it does what, what is kind of cool is you can overload it you know as you bring this up and you turn it all the way up it does start to distort if you go too far. It's a little gnarly. But, um, it, yeah, it's cool. I've tried this on bass and vocals. It's the only thing I'm putting it on. I'm a bit of a stickler. Once I like it, it just goes into the chain and it's kind of set and forget. Um, but, yeah, 100%. I think it's definitely uh, um, been a benefit and added to the production. And anything that gets me to the end result quicker, you know, is fantastic. So, yeah, the Federal. Love it. That's awesome, man. Give you one more close up on this and uh, take a look at these old VUs here. What does this say? Bead Electrical, maybe Institute Company Incorporated. All right. So cool. Oh, 
Awesome, guys. Uh, I've seen a few of these online. Usually, they're, they're dogs and uh, haven't uh, been treated right. I've been sitting in storage for a long time. But this has been in regular studio use, really well cared for, and is fully 100% operational. It is part of our premium outboard gear here at Essex Recording Studios. You can see we have some really expensive, really good gear here. And uh, if you want to record with us, well, we've got it. If you want to buy it, we're not giving it away, that's for sure. But it is for sale on our website. It's EssexRecordingStudios.com. You can also find this unit on Reverb.com. They host our website. They're good friends of ours. And um, yeah, it, it allows us to bring gear to the global market. Um, so if you want it, just get in touch. Follow us on Facebook too, guys. We're Essex Recording Studios. We're on the Instagram, right, James? Yes, we are. At Essex Recording Studios. James is on there too. He is a world-class producer and engineer and drum player. Um, and you're at Mixed by JCT yep, that's on all your social medias. Cool. Well, we're going to sign off now, guys. We'll have more videos coming your way, and we'll do some demos through some uh, some of the tracks we're working on later. But for right now, we just want to get you uh, acquainted with this unit and have you see what it's like up close and in person. Very rare piece of kit, guys. All right. Well, we're signing off. We've got more videos to do. Stick around on the channel. You'll see some more cool gear coming up next. Bye.